Hi, Dr. DeLuke here. Today I wanted to just briefly review a uh, small procedure that we do here in the office under local anesthesia that a lot of people have been asking about lately. It's called a lip lift. And essentially what a lip lift is, is, is a removal of a small amount of skin just underneath the nostrils here. And when you remove that, it allows the lip to be everted or pout a little bit. Now, the key to this is that it's a permanent result rather than temporary like you get with fillers. Now, importantly, and very importantly, is you have to be very conservative with this. You do not want to take up too much skin when you do this or you will have something that's not going to look appropriate or aesthetically pleasing. So today, Marlena, one of our lovely staff, volunteered to allow me to draw on her. Now, of course, I'm not going to remove it on her because she already has beautiful lips and a very short lip to begin with, which is exactly what you wouldn't want if you were doing this. You want a longer lip, which means you would allow it to remove more and you've heard it. She does have nice lips, but for educational purposes, I just wanted to show it. Marlene, can you just tilt up back a little bit? Now, what I use is I use these calipers here to get a precise measurement. And if you hold it up to there, the distance right there is four millimeters. Now, that's important because if her whole distance is 16 millimeters from there to the top of her lip, you want to remove about a quarter of it, not much more than that, especially if you haven't done many of these. Now the key here is once you remove it, it's going to allow the lip to curl up like that. Now, in hers I'm exaggerating a little bit obviously, but the idea is it'll stay like that. You won't have to put filler in a certain for it to look like that. The other thing is the incision, it heals right in this line. Now if you look at the bottom of the incision, that's not where it's going to be. It's where the top line goes, right along the nasal sill. You will almost never see it. You would have to be very, very close, probably with magnifying glasses to see it. So this happens to be a wonderful procedure. And if you have any other questions, feel free to call us. I'm happy to discuss this with you. And I think it's something that a lot of people are now leaning towards because it does provide a more long-lasting result. Thank you.